you have 27 <laughs> restaurants. I mean, this is an empire. I mean, it's what, a small you, empire, but yeah. you know, we, it took about 40 years to build. Yeah. And what, what's next? I mean, we control, continue to grow your business, grow your footprint overseas. Is that the strategy? Yes, I think the strategy is really for me to open restaurants here on the airway. I open a restaurant where I like to go. I think Tokyo is very inspiring for me when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. So to come here on, you know, to show what we do in New York and have our chef Yone yeah. cook. I love to go to restaurants. Yeah. I get really inspired to come in, in Tokyo or mm -hmm. Hong Kong or any of the cities. So. Now, some of the restaurants you actually run and manage yourselves, but right. some restaurants like here in Japan, uh, you have an agreement with a partnership uh, right. that you do. Now, what's the difficulty in doing that? Because in any business, whether it's a restaurant or anything else, when the boss is away, people start to get a little <laughs> relaxed, oh, <no>. right? <laughs> so yeah, how do you make sure everything has your signature on it? You know, usually when we create a restaurant like this, we are involved in a design. I'm involved in uh, the menu, of course, and then uh, all the business aspect of it. So mm -hmm. we usually go with the uh, people that we trust. You know, we have a contract, and then mm -hmm. we uh, we make sure we, you know, I mean, our chef here, Yone, uh, is from Japan, from mm -hmm. Tokyo, but yeah. he worked five years with us in New York. Mm -hmm. You know, and we partner with a, a group called Nova Reze. Yeah. On, you know, we trust yeah. them, and so far it's been a, a great partnership. Now, you've made it really in New York. I mean, is business booming there? I mean, everyone says the economy is booming. Does it feel like a bubble to you in New York right now? I think it's kind of a bubble, but it's always been a bubble. I think people in New York, they eat seven times a, a week in restaurants, so the restaurants are doing so well. Mm -hmm. All of them, not just mm -hmm. ours, but, uh, you know, I think if you serve good food with consistency, people come back. Mm -hmm. you know. Now, what kind of margins do you get in a restaurant like yours? I mean, very high end. I mean, you have much more casual stuff too, but... Yeah, we all kind of restaurant from a three-star Michelin mm -hmm. to a simple, simpler restaurants, you know, like ABC Kitchen, ABC Cuisine. Um, the margin usually are between 15 and 25%, mm -hmm. you know, depends on how you run it. Yeah. You know, it depends on all the heads. Right. You know, when you sign a lease uh, or you uh, start a business, you have to make sure that uh, you know, you don't, the rent is not exorbitant. So if I'm a chef, I've apprenticed for a couple of years, I want to run my own restaurant. What kind of, how much money do I need to start off and what can I expect in the beginning, in the first couple of I years? If you have a young chef, I started, I took over, a restaurant was uh, closed. So the investment was very small. Mm -hmm. And we really, um, you know, tiny investment, I pay back in six months on a, you know, today is a little difficult, more difficult to do because rent, rent are more expensive in the city of mm -hmm. New York, for example, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Tokyo, or Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So you have to find the right, you know, not too much overheads. Make sure the, you know, the, the concept that you're opening is really... Have you really ever had to close a restaurant? We did a couple no. of closing. Yeah. Yeah. We had a couple of flops, you know, yeah. out of uh, everything that we opened. But, yeah. you know, once we opened a Chinese restaurant on uh, the team from Hong Kong, mm. on after the, uh, le they left, we didn't know how to do the food. Oh my goodness. So today when I open a restaurant, I'll make sure uh, I can take over anytime. <laughs>